Hello everyone and welcome back to the Zeus Daz Unemulated Retro Game Channel. I am your host Zeus and here we go with another shit game time video review and we're going to be doing Last Battle on the Amiga 500. This is a paid request by YouTuber Ray C. Hello mate, how you doing? And he wants me to banish this crap into the vault of shitness forever. Uh, I'm not surprised because it was a basically a conversion of the Mega Drive launch title which came out two years before this, 1989. And that was pretty crap on that system so I don't know why they thought it would be wise to bring this out on the Amiga. But there we go, 1991. Let's see if it was published by. It was published by Elite. Uh, let's press the starting button there. Um, hang on, who was it? Who was it Poogram by? Coded by Tim... Canal, something like that, and music done by Matthew Simmons, and this is based on, I think it's a, a yeah, manga series, Fist of the North Star. And look at this, chapter one, um, and this sported a £24.95 price tag. Um, I don't really know why they thought this was a good idea to bring this out on the Amiga. As I said, it was shit on the Mega Drive anyway. Long jab, isn't he? No super moves, not like I can see. Oh, I can just appear like that. Come on. Oh. Oh. I mean, the, some of the Mega Drive launch titles were, were awful anyway, but that's usually the case when you have a new system come out. Apart from um, PlayStation, which came out with Wipeout, which was phenomenal. But you had Space Area 2, I know some of you out there were like Space Area 2 on the Mega Drive, I thought it was terrible, I hated the music in it, it all sounded the same. It wasn't a patch on the original Space Area, and I'm going to die already, and I think you only get one life. I can't turn around quick enough. Oh, oh, I got, oh here we go, Blah. the typical drop down text of a, of a, a, a game, you usually find these in Japanese arcade games. So what now, is that another level, or part of a level? Oh, there we go, okay, uh, how do you do this then? Alright, alright, so you can take roots. Well, that's something, I suppose. But again, I've, not been, I've never been a player that likes to take game, play games that take roots, like Golden Axe 3, that kind of thing, or um, I think Rastan 3, because you always wor wonder what you're missing out on the stage you didn't choose. I'd rather just be, you know, tells me straight levels never picking and choosing so my uploads I've had to do that show the at the end of the video show the levels that I've missed it's a bit annoying oh my gosh we got a boss here and I've got no energy so how am I gonna go oh bloody Nora's is that it oh come on I should have my energy refreshed is that it oh god so there we go no I'm not gonna bother doing that. Right, let's have another go. Okay, oh dear. Why would they think this was a good idea? The original game's crap. Why would you think, why would you want to bring out an Amiga and charge 25 quid for it? 1991. Chapter 1. Yes, alright. Very Japanesey. Boom, 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 boom. Let's try and get some more energy this time. That's not fair. How are you supposed to do that when you've got two of them? One on each side. Jump! I'm going to try and do a jump kick. Ooh, hey! Try doing that. How many of them? The uh, delay, there's a slight delay, definitely. Vision detection is terrible. Look at that. The miles out. Can I still be in? Gotcha that time. Stabbing me with that bloody thing. Oh, 
Got a bit more energy now. Yeah, can't we skip this bit? Hmm. Do I duck this time or do I do a jump and kick? Um, no, I'll go this way this time. See what that's about. Oh dear. We're all Migas long for a good beam up on the on the Amiga. But I don't recall ever coming across this game. Oh, no boss in this one. Or damn, I wish I picked uh, the same level. They just keep coming at you, don't they? Two for one there. Go oh, stop punching, I wasn't doing it. Uh. survive this. There's no way I can survive this. Yeah, there's no way. So you never get your energy back up then. You've got to go through the whole game. Am I guessing that? You've got to go through the whole game with one energy life cycle. Whatever you call it. No, I don't want to do that. I'm going to do that. Let's see if I can get to that boss again. This music's pretty lame. Yes, not impressed. £24.95. Mega Games went from 19.95 to suddenly 24.95. Went up a fiver around the early, very early 90s, sort of 91 hour. And they justified it by bringing it out on uh, releasing it. They probably thought we, could, we need more money. We need to charge more money. Even though there's a shitload of piracy going on right now, and we're going to charge more. But we can justify it. We'll release all the Amiga games on big boxes. You know, to make it look good. I mean, some games did warrant that sort of price. You have the, uh, the Chaos Engine. Um, phenomenal game and phenomenally packaged. I've got the original of that. And it came out with... Uh, um, great big colourful uh, booklet, if I remember right. It came out with... Um, not postcards, but art cards of the characters. It was just nicely done. So that was worth its price tag. I've got the original Chaos Engine 2 box as well. But can't really say much good about that game, sadly. Got to get both that time. Right. Oh, I've got more energy. Now I'm going to go for this boss this time. Yeah, yeah, Max, Max, who's up? Yeah, see you in the pub, whatever. Probably saying, isn't this lame that we're back here again two years later when we was on the Mega Drive version? What on earth are we back here for? I don't know, mate. I don't know. If you, if you like this game programmers, why didn't you call it Last Battle 2 and different enemies and that? Why do a copy, a carbon copy of the Mega Drive version, which would crap anyway? Right. God, he's got. Uh oh. Uh oh, he's gonna do a jump! I don't know if I hit. Oh, do I get him? How do I get him? I can't even touch this guy. Look at this. Oh, this is ridiculous. I can't even touch him. I can't even touch him. What is that? It's that fucking um, He-Man, isn't it? Looks like he's been ripped off from He-Man. Oh, God. No. Should I put something comical? One more go. I don't know what the pack is looking for. I'm not going to get past. I've just proven I can't touch this boss, let alone get past it. That's the awful. Does not warrant that price tag at all. What is £25 now in the year 2023? <laughs> Dread to think. Yeah, can not get out of that? Let's sit through it. So, how many chapters are there then? I can't believe you just get one energy bar. That is just... That's really bad. Where everyone else gets full energy. Alright, you knock them out one here. But you've got the bosses 
If you're starting bosses, boss fights with usually no bloody energy, and you can't touch them anyway. Well, I couldn't. Backgrounds look so stagnant, don't they? Just, there. Just, just, there's no, I don't know. Vibrancy, that's the word I'm looking for. There's no vibrancy in them. Come on. Hello again. Yes, we're still in this crappy game. So you didn't get past that boss last time. No, couldn't even scratch him, mate. Waste of time. Uh, right, what are we going to do this time? I don't know. I mean, that's the boss. But I can't get past him. I can't touch him. Ridiculous. Look at the size of his bloody energy bar. Oh, maybe a jumping. Oh no. Oh, I thought you could. Oh, that's not fair. That's not fair. Jump. Oh, look at. I almost got him. To, oh no. That wasn't it. I, I took a few hits off. I, I got a few hits in on him. That's just complete bollocks. Let's put that in, shall we? How could you bring out this fucking game when it was a sp bad enough? It was a launch title, a shit one at that, and you're bringing it out on the almighty Amiga, thinking that it'll be even just as you know, much better. So yeah, it's bollocks. Um, big time bollocks. What a load of crap. Um, yeah, it's just jab, time your jabs right. Terrible collision detection. You can't turn around enough, there's a slight time delay. That's horrible, that's very jerky, that. Why, Elite? Why bother doing this? Why, why take a Mega Drive game and port it to the Amiga? A Mega Drive game which wasn't that much to be remembered by. Yeah, when it was a launch title, I suppose everyone was, ex was, was excited. I mean, I can't remember what, there were six launch titles. I can't remember them all. I know it was this, I know it was Space Area. I think Thunder Blade might have been one. Um, there's three others, anyway. And, and yeah, I, <sighs> Not good at all. It really isn't for for many reasons. Original the main one, of course, the original game wasn't that good, so why port it to another machine? Number two, it's two years on, so we're 1991 time zone now. The Amiga came out was coming up with some fantastic stuff. Why do this? The backgrounds are just there's no vibrancy in them at all. They're just flat. The timing, as I said, is bad. There's a slight delay. Very stiff characters, just very samey. One energy bar. Um, and it's a £24.95 they expected you to pay up for this. No, sorry, it's, it's yeah, that's sorry. That's 1991 standards, this is crap. This is this is rubbish and 25 quid is, is terrible elite. Absolutely terrible. I mean that's probably the best graphical part of the game is the elite logo. That just looks lame, that's scrolling. It's just I mean they've almost copy and pasted the Mega Drive logo there as well, the colours. It just look they look washed out. Um, 1989, there you go, they came out on the Mega Drive in 1989. Rubbish. So yeah, uh, that's going into the vault of shitness and I'm gonna give that a I'm going to give that 81 shits on the shitometer. Um, lousy idea to bring that, bring this out. If you're going to bring this game out, make it a sequel. Last Battle 2, you know. And then that might make you intrigued and go, oh, what was Last Battle 1 like? What was that about then? You go on, you know, you, you, you check it out, do some uh, um, scouting around and information magazines, whatever, find out what... Uh, Last Battle 1 was about, 
but to bring the carbon copy from a Mega Drive game two years on into 1991 where we're getting superior games from you. This is just so rigid, it's horrible, the background's no parallax there at all, it's just, it's so dull. Dull. And look at the way the characters are terribly animated, very, very limited frames of animation. Yeah, it's garbage. So there you go. That's my decision. That's gone into the vault of shitness forever. Well done, Ray. Good pick, mate. Um, it's nice to know that you'll show me some of these. <laughs> I was heavily into Amiga back then, but then some of these games I've never even seen. I'm glad I didn't. Um, unfortunately, some of these games I can never unsee. But hey, that's that's what I'm paid to do, isn't it? Paid to take the pain. That's, that's the way it is, so can't bitch about that. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below about this game. Be very interested to hear what you've got to say about it and if you were suckered into buying this game maybe you liked it you know surprise me let me know below in a moment four videos will pop up four thumbnails three random shit game times for you to enjoy and in the top left as normal is a video where you click and go to that video and that's where you can name the game you want to be shamed put it into the vault of shitness cough up five quid you know at the end of the day doesn't even buy your bag of crisps and a pint of beer nowadays that continue to go towards my dog Snoopy, his um, recovery of his uh, TPLO, which he's recovered from very, very well, but obviously he's still going to need that damn bill. So that's what all these uh, uh, shit game times are going towards at the moment. So if you need that one little, little incentive, it's going towards a happy, soppy, floppy Labrador Poochie. All right? Until next time, take care of yourselves. Zeus, out of shitsville. Oh, definitely. See you later.